Hallelujah. You are welcome to the reading of Book of Psalms with your lovely sister Bola Majek JP. Today, by the special grace of God, we are reading Psalm chapter 30. And I will be reading from the English Standard Version. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So as it was in the beginning, so it is forevermore shall it be. Amen. Psalm chapter 30. This chapter has only 12 verses. And uh, it is established that the, the writer was uh, David. And it starts by this. I want to remind us quickly that uh, we are going on this fasting and prayer with the reading of the book of Psalms. Number one, it will help our spirit to grow spiritually. At least if you have been so busy and busy and busy, you must be able to read this, uh, this chapter every day. Or by listening to it, using this opportunity to make ourselves in line with the will and purposes of God. Hallelujah. So, you can read after me. You can be saying amen. And then we continue to enjoy the fullness of the Lord. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my voice rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O ye his saints, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with a morning. Verses. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry. And to the Lord, I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Verse 10. Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. Verse 10. 11 says, you have turned for me my money into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. I am very rejoicing to declare upon our lives that all our money shall be turned to dancing and joy and that all, all our sackcloth will be removed and replaced with gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And verse 12 says that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent oh lord my god i will give thanks to you forever amen i pray that your glory that your glory will not be referred to pit or the graveyard in the name of jesus sudden death will not be used to announce our glory in the name of jesus even on our children on our very self we're still young because even at our hundred years bible calls us that uh, we are children i pray that our famous will not be announced with untimely death or or graveyard in the mighty name of jesus amen briefly let me explain little of what is behind this uh, writing from a uh, from david uh, we can see that uh, this uh, uh, the uh, king David was referring to the dedication of his palace to God, and that is one of the reasons he is praising God. You can see that uh, David praised God while dedicating his palace. From his example, the Bible reveals several reasons for you to also praise God. This includes his faithfulness, healing, salvation, holiness, mercy, compassion and joyful restoration first we see david here praising god for, for protecting him from his enemy and allow him to build a palace god was faithful to keep his promises to david god also deserves your praise because he is also faithful to keep his promises to you my dear brothers and sisters daddies and mommies uncles and aunties have you ever sit down and see that your house where you are living and give praise to God and I believe wonderfully that uh, 
it is from this place that we see we have we have uh, we have copied dedication of house so we we and the second one there we see that uh, david praised god for for healing him and uh, we see that god our god deserves our praise if god has healed us even every day is renewals the blood that you are having is doing a lot of work every day recycling recycling generating new 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 life for us because our life depends on the blood if there is no blood no living and who is specifically doing that one for us is this the work of god doing for us every day people that doesn't have this that's why you see people carry oxygen up and down because our breathing includes taking in of oxygen and giving that a uh, carbon dioxide so all this in their supernatural way of the work of the lord in us sit down and see this one that uh, god has uh, been so faithful for to us Ahem. so david praised god for delivering him from his enemy so also we too don't i have been telling us this life cannot be living as you think so people are living with powers behind them and the power that is behind you is god is god so we have to be grateful so from deliver him from his enemy and building his house after his palace was completed david dedicated the building to god he praised god for protecting him from the many times that his enemy tried to kill him which we have been studying all these days from saul from his son from friends from everywhere so this psalm a song to the dedication of the house a psalm of david he said i will extort you O lord for you have lifted me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me and i know that god has been lifting you up also so god needs to be praised and then um, the jews were expected to dedicate their homes to god so to give him the credit so that is why when you finish that your beauty dedicate it to the to god before you start to live there and then we see in the hebrew the jews the officers when they want to go to war they will ask them the officer shall speak to the people when they want to go to war who is the man that has built a new house but has not dedicated it let him go and return to his house otherwise he might die in the battle and another man will dedicate it so because they believe that uh, in the book of Simon said that uh, except God build the house, you cannot. It, it seems like parable, but it is also the new thing. You will buy land, all along will be sending money for block, for 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 this, for that, for block, for sand, for cement, and then you complete it. You will do the roofing, you will buy this one. Uh, uh, it is not by my own power. It is by the power of God. So have it in mind that when you finish it, you will dedicate it. And you are believing in that dedicating is please call two or three people, call your pastor to come and praise it, praise God over it, and then you believe in there in the name of Jesus. And we see this example so many. Nehemiah dedicated the building of the walls of Jerusalem. So all these things is just to praise God and to show that uh, he is the king and then you have seen that uh, even that in that place that we have just read he says that uh, you have sent me he said i called for help and you have helped me so we see many people that have come to to give david lot of things trees all those things to build house they have supplied him so that is why he, he thank god that uh, he has received uh, the blessing of the lord we too we can copy this if you want to do things like that, let us be praying for God to send us helper. Even with that, we are living the last prayer here. So that you don't fall to the hand of uh, ATM people. That they will just turn you to ATM and be collecting people. Before we start all this project, please let us seek for the face of the Lord to lead us aright. May the Lord help us. May the Lord continue to see us through this period. And help us so that we will be able to get with the right people to help us to do such things in our country in the mighty name of jesus i rejoice with the people that are dedicating their house this year or this month or next year i pray that the goodness of the lord will not lift us and he will continue to give us perfect head that uh, what we have used our sweat to do to build we are going to dwell there 
with joy and with peace and with happiness in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not say, ah, well, only landlord do not need here. Since we take a long one, sit a Gigi. It will not be our portion. It will not be my portion and yours too in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He says, I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me higher, even than my enemies. And it ends it by saying that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. God will allow our glory to be seen even when we are living. That we too will say this is what the Lord has done for us. We will raise up our hands and be praising him everywhere. So I want us to have the attitude and cultivate the heart of thanking God. Don't be tired for praising God. Don't say that he has not done for you every day that the Lord is ever faithful for us. It is because we want more. But in our attitude of want more, let us let our petition be known unto him. Let us copy this man and we will see the goodness of the Lord. Share this message. Amen.